Ah, uh, yes, the beautiful waters and the beautifully orchestrated Legend of Zelda theme brings tears to my heart. If a heart could cry, that's what it would do. <laughs> I would stop this nonsense right now. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Kuliwaz, and today, for this month of November, I figure it's very fitting since they announced uh, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D for the 3DS that I would play a Zelda title. And the Zelda, eh, and the Zelda title I picked for this month is none other than The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD Edition for the Nintendo Wii U. I'm stoked. I absolutely love that game. I played it on the GameCube, loved it as a kid, and I played it recently, Played, uh, finished the entire game, and loved it even more. There's no words that I can d describe how much I love this game. So we're just gonna dive right in and hopefully you guys can uh, enjoy our... Uh... I mean, I, can you tell I'm excited? I should probably tone it down a bit. But I'm just excited to play this game. As you can see from our quest logs, you can see quest log, Outset Island. Um, I've pretty much beat the entire game. So that I believe that... Uh, I don't know what it does, but I know you get something... I don't know, something extra, I don't know what it does. You get this Triforce looking thing. That's after you've defeated the game for the first time. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know the name of it, but I'll find out for you guys. So, uh, we're gonna use our handy dandy, uh, gamepad here and enter our name. What is our name? I'm just gonna go for the nice and simple Cooley. Not bad, not bad. Nice and Cooley. That is fine by me. Let's, uh, just quest slot 2, Cooley, the Triforce. What does that even mean? I don't know. But we're gonna go ahead and start anyway and, uh, see what's going on. Of course, this is that cutscene. This is but one of the legends of which the people speak. Here it is. Long ago, there existed a kingdom where a golden power lay hidden. It was a prosperous land, blessed with green forest, tall mountains, and peace, and quiet. I'm just kidding. One day, a man of great evil found the golden power and took it for himself. He would. He would do that. With its strength at his command, he spread darkness across the kingdom. But then... When all hope had died and the hour of doom seemed at hand, a young boy, floated in green, appeared as from nowhere, like out of the blue, from the right, from the left, from the sky, wielding the blade of evil's bane. He sealed the dark one away and gave the land light. I love this cut. I love the cutscene. I love the music too. <laughs> This boy who traveled through time to save the land was known as the Hero of Time. The boy's tale was passed down through generations until it became legend. The Legend of Zelda. Just kidding, I don't know why it's called that, but yeah, you know. But then, a day came when a fell wind began to blow across the kingdom. The great evil that all thought had been forever sealed away by the hero once again crept forth from the depths of the earth, eager to resume something. The people believed that the hero of time would again come to save them. Hero of time, where art thou? But the hero did not appear. That is unfortunate and depressing. It's extremely depressing. Faced by an onslaught of evil, the people could do nothing but appeal to the gods. Gods, help us. In their last hour, as Dew drew them to nigh, they left their future in the hands of faith. See what I did there? What became of that kingdom? None remain to know. Getting chills. The memory of the kingdom vanished, but its legends survive on the wind's breath. On a 
certain island, it became customary to guard boys in green when they came of age. That is strange, a custom, but alright, it's cool. Loaded in green of fields, they aspired to find heroic blades and cast down evil. The elders wished only for the youths to know courage like the hero of legend. Wow. This has been Storytime with Cooley Wiz. Thank you, that's been the episode for today. I'm just kidding! No! <laughs> no! We're an outset island. Very beautiful island, if I do say so myself. Look at this gorgeous view. Tropical trees, the ocean water is crystal blue, matching the beautiful sky. Big brother! Some seagulls, some seagulls, beautiful uh, foliage. Big Just barely, I barely noticed there's seagulls on our telescope. <laughs> I did not see that before, not at all. And here is our main protagonist, everybody, the young sleeping bro. <laughs> That's gonna be me in a couple of hours, taking a nap on the heist. Thing I could find. Hopefully, I don't, you know, sleepwalk and uh, fall to my doom. That's me every morning, actually. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That face. I knew you'd be here. Of course. Yee! This is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it Ariel's Lookout. I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm gonna say Ariel. Ariel Lookout. Ariel, correct me if I'm wrong. Tell me in the comments, please let me know. So, do you remember what day it is today? Yes, it's sleeping in today. Day. What? <laughs> You're still half asleep, aren't you? I'm always half asleep. Did you forget? Probably did. What is what the, it's today? Big brother, it's your birthday. So what? That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. Why are we not over there? It's a good thing I came to find you. Actually, it is. We would've been asleep the whole day. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? I think that's a swell idea, little sister Ariel. I think Ariel. So now we got the controls, and uh, first thing you notice when you're playing the HD version of Wind Waker, you don't actually see the differences. You're like, I don't. I, th I think GameCube looked this like the same. What were the giant differences? I'm not kidding. The differences are humongous. I'm not even. And until you like see a side by side comparison. That's when you realize. That's sorry. That's when you realize how big of a change the HD remake is. It is insane, and I'm all I'm I'm, I'm loving this already. Come on, what is not to love? Look at these textures and the lighting. Oh yes, it's it's quite beautiful if I do say so myself. So uh, this is obviously the main area, as far as uh, our little hometown is Outset Island. We have our villagers here that you can sometimes talk to. Obviously, actually, you can talk to everyone in this game. Hey, oi, coolie! What's that? Today's your birthday. Well, congrats, buddy. Are you that old already? Wow, time just flies right by, doesn't it? You blink and poof. There goes a year. Why, I swear, I just cut the grass in this field the other day, but look how tall it's gotten already. Say, do you want to try cutting it, coolie? You'd be surprised at the things people drop in the grass. It's fun. It's like a treasure hunt, except you're gonna need some kind of grass cutting tool if you want to cut the grass. That's just common sense, buddy. Uh, every time I, I cut the grass, I just usually find trash, but hey, you never know. One day I'm gonna find a rupee and I'll be like, hey, I'm that much richer. What do you got to say, little guy? Hey, oi, coolie! Hey, is it true that if you just have a little courage and run as fast as you can, then you can jump that rock over there, huh? Is it? Is it? Tell me! I think I can. Uh, there, of course, uh, the obvious joke here would be, oh, look at me parkouring, but... Hey, man, it's just Link. He's got those skills. Uh, in this instance, coolie. Nah, I'm kidding, it's Link. But hey, my real name. <laughs> Let's, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say here. We're back on this beach, trying to go to our grandma's house. Let's see what this guy has to say. I just saw a wild, a wild pig. Oh, see, look, the black one there. Don't you see him? This is perfect. My wife was just telling me how she really wanted a pet. You ready to go grab it, Cooley? No, you can't just run up to it. Pigs aren't too alert to their surroundings for you to just jog up and capture one. 
If you want to get close to one, you have to hold the ZR button to crouch and tilt on the left stick to crawl slowly up behind it. Slowly. You should also distract with bait. I guess. I don't have bait as of yet, but we are gonna try to catch this black pig. I believe this is our first little side mini quest. And believe me, this game has plenty. Oh my lord. I got you! I got this pig! Alright, where do I go now? Uh, where do I? Uh, I forgot what to do with him. <laughs> I think you throw him up somewhere. Hold on, this guy's gonna want to talk to us. Let's go around. Not waste our darn time. Jesus. Uh, trust me, he's like, hey, are you there? And he's trying to teach you the fundamentals of... Nope. Nope. Uh, get this boogery boy away from me. We're just gonna throw this pig to the pig pen up here, and we should be fine. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go. Nice in there, piggy. Don't worry, I am not here to hurt you. Why did you bring in that little piglet all the way here just for me? Whoa, wife. Thank you. I keep trying to add my own <laughs> grammar to this. I don't know why. Thank you so much. I've been thinking of getting a pet pig for a while. The boys will be so happy when they get home. You sweetie. Okay, coolie. Hold up your hand. This is your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. Oh, believe me, Mrs. Adams. I will not. I just assume her name is Mrs. Adams. I don't know her name. <laughs> Why? This little darling is cute as a button. You know, it's so cute that I wouldn't mind even having more of them. Oh my lord. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to go get, fetch me some pigs. But that is a tale for another day. Alright, we're gonna have to uh, do the old man thing. Hello! There we go. Hey, Goalie Brazil, to look at me. Alright, I will. Oh, that's the wrong button. There we go. That's correct. You're a smart one. You, my friend, have just targeted me. You see, when you press the ZL button, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it all quite often to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything around a target, you can press ZL to face forward, you know? It's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad of other ways to use targeting as well. Quite an in uh, in ingenious little thing if I do say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag, and not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you'll just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. How about no? Nah, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm okay. I pretty much know the fundamentals of everything. Trust me, we do. Oh, Ghoulie! Oh, Happy birthday! Hey, did your sister Ariel find you? She was supposed to tell you that your grandmother is looking for you. Speaking of your sister, she saw me at work the other day and she said she wanted to learn to carry jars on her head like me so she could help your grandma with chores. So if you see her, tell her that all she has to do is stand in front of a jar and press the A button, that's right, get your gamepad, go in front of a jar and press the A button, you should pick it right up and to carry it. To put the jar down, just simply press the R, that's all it takes. Can you tell her that for me? Sounds good. I, I, I hope I can learn uh, one day to pick up things above my head, I mean if I can carry that pig. Uh, here's the booger boy. That follows us and just bumps into us with his dumb boogers. I hate him. I hate you! Um, your grandma was calling for it, Cooley, and so was my mom. Go away. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to our grandma's house. We've been lollygaling too much. Is lollygaling a thing? It is, but I don't know what it means. But okay, we're gonna use it in that context. Alright. So, uh, where are you? Where are you, grandma? Are you here? Hey, you no, know, but uh, there's a little picture of me and my sister. A picture of my sister above the fireplace. Smells good, Grandma. What are you cooking? <laughs> so she's definitely up here. Obviously, she's got to be up here. Hello, Grandma. Oh, she looks so adorable, though. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Cooley. Here you are, Cooley. Try these on. These are special clothes made of a special fabric that only the honest can see. What? Okay. What does that mean? Grandma, what does that mean? Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. You got the hero's new clothes. What the? Wow, they're really light. Yeah. Wait, I'm confused. Uh, why am I not holding up anything? <laughs> why is Link's face like that? What's the matter? Why the long face? You can see them, can't you? Oh my god, what? Well, today's the day we commemorate the fact that you've reached the same age as the hero of the legends. You have to be proud about that for at least one day. Put them on and see if you can't fool anybody uh, in town. In the olden days, this is the... Uh, this is the... 
This was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle with their enemies. That's unfair. And quite... Uh, come on. Come on! But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Sounds good to me. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one in the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Guess how come we all go and talk to Orca, huh? Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Uh, I'm trying to fit into these invisible clothes, apparently. Does all this make sense to you? Grandma? I have no idea. <laughs> Isn't that nice, Cooley? They, st they suit you perfectly, a perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite you to the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd be better off start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma's going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm. Cheddar broccoli soup. Yes. Grandma. Yes. You know my favorite soup. That's exactly what I need. I just know you're looking forward to it. Grandma, I'm always looking forward to it. Now go talk to your sister, Ariel. Sounds good to me. It's probably Errol. Nah, it's Ariel. I don't, I don't know what it is. Nobody correct me. Yep. Alright, so some fi uh, g a key fundamental difference here. We're not wearing our green um, tunic clothes. Our uh, usual green garments that we always, you know, we all know and love. Link, hello? We are still in our pajamas. And I'm going to guess that the Triforce for beating the game once is that you get to play the game with your pajamas. Alright, hey, look at me. I got the hang of things. Alright. Uh, so she's definitely up there. So this is going to be quite interesting, playing the game in my pajamas, you know, hunting down you know, through dungeons and fighting giant evil monsters in my pajamas. Nothing like a good old day's work. Get your boogery nose away from me. Completely unnecessary. Uh, also, on a lighter note, I'd like to uh, take notice of this beautiful music they have for Outset Island, which I admire. It is fantastic. Nothing else to say, it's just that it's really pleasing to hear. <laughs> and that's always a good thing. And I love cheddar broccoli soup. That's always a good thing too. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Alright, Seagulls, what's going on here? Ah, boy, boy, big brother. I keep saying, ah, hey, or ha, boy. Hoi, hoi, coolie, get it through your head. Did Grandma make that outfit for you? She sure did with her invisible thread needles. You always wear the same outfit. I think you need a new look. <laughs> I guess they're pretty neat though. So anyway, Cooley, <laughs> can you close your eyes and hold out your hand just for a second? Is it my birthday, Goody? I'm going to give you the most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! Hey, if it's a treasured belonging and you're handing it to me for one day, that is awesome. You got the telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. Send it to blah, 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 blah. All right, so we're going to set that. Using the gamepad, you can also settle. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to use the gamepad. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? He he he. Ooh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over the house over there. I, uh, sure, I can, uh, let's, so we set it to our gamepad. We set it to Y, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. Alright, so she wants us to look. Hey, Cooley, are you looking at the red post box? Aha. Big brother, are you using the zoom in? You should be. There, there, I zoomed in. Who is that mysterious feathered fellow? And he is looking up. Uh, it looks kind of weird, doesn't he? Yes, and he's kind of frightened. What, what's going up above him? Ah, Cooley, the sky! Look up in the sky! Oh, what's going up there? Ah! <laughs> it's a giant bird, and he's holding somebody. That is one giant colorful bird, my lord. And he's being shot at, apparently, from pirates! This is just too much to take in. Happy birthday to me! My lord. Alright, so we got a giant bird with somebody in its claws. The pirates are attacking, which I'm assuming is a friend of the pirates, or their captain, or somebody that they know. Clearly. And the bird's just chilling. It's like nothing's happening. It's just like, shooting cannonballs at me? I'm a bird. I'll do what I want. And in this instance, the bird has the times of... Like, to just get it hit in the face with a nice cannonball. And sh she's falling down into the forest on top of the island. That does not sound good. Cooley, this is so terrible. That girl fell into the forest. She needs help. But it's too dangerous for you to go in there without something you can use to defend yourself with. Absolutely. But luckily, I have my telescope to fight off any enemies. And I should be good. Thank you, sister. Why did I climb back up? Come on now. Come on now. I mean, we are set to go. We got our pajamas, we got a telescope, what more do we need? A cutting tool, like that guy mentioned earlier. 
Don't believe in it. No good, sir. Alright, so we need a sword before we can even continue. So we're just gonna I'll go ahead and roll on here. Which is something I should have been doing from the very start. But hey, you know, I'm just trying to take my time. I'm trying to take it nice and easy for the beginning of this uh, LP. So, you, she uh, did mention Orca. Uh, my grandmother mentioned Orca. I was like, who mentioned Orca? <laughs> Which is, uh, this guy is the only guy that knows about sword fighting, and that's exactly what we're gonna do. He's gonna teach us the ways of the cutting of the shark fish. Just kidding. Oh, what is the matter, Kuli? You have an urgent look about you. Have something happened? Whatever it is, you look on your face, I suspect you do not laughing matter. What you say, Kuli, oh, Kuli, please? <laughs> I'm talking too fast. Ah, uh, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yes, sir. Bow down to your master. Respectful. Uh, very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Face me and press B. Do not fear for my safety. I am ready for you. I don't think you are. You're done, son. You're done! Ah! Wrong. Only press B. What do you think I'm pressing? Oh. Oh, uh, don't target him. Good. Keep coming until you hear it. Very good. Alright. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Vertical slice. Here we go. Vertical slice for you. Good friend. Alright, very good. Next is the vertical slice. Okay, then we gotta... Keep swinging. All right. That right, sounds good to me, sir. Basically, these are the fundamentals of sword play. Throughout this entire game, we're going to be using the targeting button a lot. Next is thrust. Target and then tilt forward. Press me and be come at me. There we go. All right. Keep thrusting. Uh, I'm going to thrust at you, sir. Next is a spin attack. Hold B briefly to build up your stake and then release it. Go. Very good. Keep it up. Yeah, that is that signature spin of attack, of course. This is a parry attack. Target with L until you see an A, then quickly press A to perform a defensive strike. All right, there it is. Very good. Again, target with Z and watch closely for the A. What you gonna do to me, old man? What you gonna do? With oh. Gotcha. Very good. Now, finally, the jump attack. Draw your sword, target, and press A. There we go, the jump attack, of course, the classic jump attack. It's pretty strong for a young, how old I am, person. <laughs> that was a fine display, if I do say so myself. And yet I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to be wielded in the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened, but I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt you will misuse that sword. You, you may have it coolly. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. You accepted the hero's sword. Wieldy would be. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the kind of man who has entrusted it with you. Since the olden days, this sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Coolie. Thank you, Master. Now we got a sword. That's A-OK -okay in my books. So... Do we get the shield, or is that afterwards? Not too entirely sure. But we're gonna go ahead and go anyway. Uh, how do we get there? Okay, it's clearly not that way. We're gonna jump in the water, though! Oh no, we're not landing on the water! Oh, but we're still safe! They knew people would probably be doing that, so they made it a safe distance so you wouldn't have to hurt yourself. Which, in my opinion, that's pretty A-OK. -okay. That's pretty nice, not gonna lie. We're just gonna hurry up on over here. Rest all of these delicious, delicious coconut palm trees. I'm just kidding. I'm just assuming they're coconut palm trees. I don't know what kind of palm trees they are. But uh, we come up to this mountain and we encounter this sign that says, No entry. The forest paths are closed until suspension bridge repairs are complete. Man, we don't care. We're gonna trash pass. Trash pass? That's not even a word. Tress. Trash pass. Trash pass. Am I even saying that right? Not even sure. Notice how the music kind of goes out. I'm not sure I like this game. I'm not sure I like this at all. Of course, they're telling us about the bridge. And we're just gonna pop onto this riggedy bridge and just jump right over it. Nothing dangerous there. Nothing like a however old I am. No biggie for us, right? Let's head into this mysterious spooky cave on top of the mountain and uh, appear somewhere. I see something! 
It is the same person that was on the bird's grasp, and it seems that she got lucky enough to get her uh, vest or shirt, whatever, uh, snagged on a tree branch. Oh, there's our first enemy, folks. Are we ready? Of course we are. He's just like, what's going on, man? Oh, I missed the first lounge. This is great. This is foreshadowing for the future, folks. Just letting you know right now. Oh, didn't drop anything. Let's climb this. Climb higher, folks. Get up here as well. And we might face more enemies here. Oh, there you go. We got some birds carrying some goblins. Dropping down to try to attack us. What is going on here? They do not want to, do not want me to rescue whoever is in that tree ranch. Hello, good sir. It's a sword to the face. Anybody dropping anything? Well, we got a cutscene. She's waking up. I'd be pretty frightened too to wake up on a tree branch that high. And she falls down. Of course, that is dangerous. Do not move around on a branch that. Skinny, what? That thin. There you go. That's the word. Wow. What's with that getup? Oh, whatever. So where am I? My getup. It's my pajamas. Oh, that's right. The giant bird came in. Hi, Miss Miss Tetra. I love that. Oh, oh, thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the side, I thought you sure you'd summit. So that bird dropped me on the top of a mountain. Oh, wasn't that nice of it? <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. I may be just a boy, but I'll be a legend one day. You will see. So, so we come outside. Hey, oi, big brother. What are you doing up here? Are you serious? Are you serious? Ariel, go down. It is completely dangerous. Clearly, the sign... Oh, well, I chopped down the sign. That is my mistake. No, don't come. Don't come. You still have to jump over the bridge. And I do not recommend jumping over the bridge. Oh, Lord. Well, jump the giant bird again. And... There goes my sister, folks. There goes my little sister. Brother! Don't have it in me. What? What are you? What are you even gonna do? Are you? What were you expecting to fly? Oh, now you're dead. Oh no, never mind. You're lucky she was there. Why would you run, stupid kid? Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. And that the truth. I'm deeply sad. I'm deeply saddened by this. What? You want to come with us on our ship? That's quite surprising, and I guess I'm not a yes. Do you understand that you're asking? We're pirates, you know. Pirates! The terror of the seas. What do we get if we're bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll let, I'll let you know what you get. Headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all, but that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? Kinda does, you brought the pirates, you were chasing the bird, the bird came over here, you know, kinda does actually have to do with you. But how do you figure that? This bird postman knows what's up! That's my boy! Whoa, whoa, whoa there! Just who are you and where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl would have been snatched away by that- wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment. I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst many different islands. As a result, I hear many different things. Haven't any of you heard worth that a young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears, like yours, have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from the island also has long ears. Does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that a bird mistook that poor girl for you and that's why it grabbed her. That's right, you got nothing to say, do you? Do you? And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it that, uh, I believe it was young Cooley here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? 
Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Is this true? Absolutely. Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Cooley's sister has made it. It's foul nest up in the north on the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. Ooh. The Forsaken Fortress? <laughs> Isn't that the place where... So, what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it'd be unreasonable for you to give Cooley a little help. Now, who would it? I think you uh, should uh, lend over some help, guys. You are responsible for everything that happened right now. I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it lately, I've been heard nothing but evil rumors about the Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but a cheap little sword. That's not brave. It's stupid. I mean, come on. Even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield, you know, something to protect yourself with. Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you better say goodbye to your family while you have a good chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Wow. Uh, let's find a shield before we uh, end this episode and just leave with these pirates, shall we? Just gonna go ahead and roll, because that is the fastest way to get around, and as you all know, that is exactly the fastest way to get around in any Legend of Zelda game. Except for uh, the ones on the Nintendo 64, because you could do the side hop thing. But as of right now, nothing. Uh, what is it, Cooley? Please tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where is Ariel? Is she still playing outside with the goals? Grandma, she's gone. Hate to break the bad news to you, but she won. What? I was expecting a shield, and I am thoroughly disappointed. Ah, Grandma, you're hiding something. Cooley. Is this what you're looking for? That it is, Grandma. That it is. Look at Link's face. <laughs> Take it with you. Oh, Grandma, you're so darn cute. You got the hero shield. This is the legendary shield set to have been used by the hero himself. Hold ZR to defend yourself while holding the sword. You can move around if you're defending while targeting. Link, you can stop doing that. Grandma's there. Don't be disrespectful, Link. Come on, respect your elders. I guess it is true. Ariel really has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster would take such a sweet young child? Don't, don't, don't make me feel like this, Grandma. Come on. Grandma, please. Oh, Grandma, no. Why are you going to make that face? Oh, Ariel. Oh, Grandma. I'll come back, Grandma. I'm going to get you a nice... Something nice. I'll bring you a nice souvenir from the great seas. And we're gonna head off with the pirates now. And start on our long journey. It's beautiful music though. But, I think this is a great way to leave it off. We're gonna leave right off with the pirates. Actually, nah, let's just talk to them and be on the ship, shall we? Alright, wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry, you big baby? No, I'm kidding. Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? I think I am. Goodbye, everybody. It's been nice knowing all of yous. Oh, we're getting the magical pirate gong to leave us on our ship. And say goodbye to everybody on Outset Island. Set the sails. Set the courses. Turn the steering wheel, something auto ship stuff. Sterns and masses, 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 the mast, sails. I don't know, I, I don't know my ship parts. Good luck, Cooley. Good luck finding Ariel. Take care of yourself. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. I've missed you all greatly. And I'm a little shocked. Why? What's going on? What's going on, Link? What do you see? Man, the grandma, you guys are killing me. Look at her. I just want to hug her. Yes. Oh, I thought he was gonna do it like a big hug. But I am saying goodbye. And folks, oh, how much longer is this going to do? <laughs> going to go? And you think you have an estimate? Huh? Why not? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you, you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. Probably. There's still time, you know. Are you sure you shouldn't just turn around and take me back to your island? No, my sister. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? You owe me this. Goodbye, home island. And with that said, 
I think it is the perfect time to leave off this episode right on this pirate ship. As always, I've been Kubiwiz. Thank you so much for watching the very first episode of The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD for the Nintendo Wii U. What will happen next time? Stay tuned and find out, and I will see you all later!